musical takes its name from the era it's set in, turn of the 20th century. Ragtime, the, the musical style was very different. The, the syncopation and it, it was almost jarring to what they were used to. It came out of the uh, African-American idiom in, in the early 20th century and late 19th century. It's the precursor to jazz and the blues, and it was in its day kind of what rap music was in the 1980s. The play's lyrics and music by Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty carry the story. Ahrens and Flaherty, who have a huge catalog of music that they've written, um, I think this is probably the gem I'm in there in their catalog. Um, the score is unlike anything I've ever heard. It's grand, it's lush, it's beautiful, it's specific to a time and place, and it's also timeless. And there was distant music, simple and song of But the music is glorious. I keep thinking every time I listen to a new song, I keep thinking, oh, that's my favorite. And then there's another song that comes about, and you go, oh, no, no that's my favorite. But what of the people But there's more to ragtime than its music. The storyline unfolds with its own richness and intensity. An artistic producer, Rod Lansbury, who is also directing the show, strives to make a connection with the audience. To do so, he turned to the original book written by E.L. Doctorow. Take one big step down, and on the second Cole House demands, you all sing together, but you wait for the second one and take it down, okay? All right, let's try that one more time from that same section, please. This one is interesting because although it is fiction, um, the, the, the original novel, it is based on a lot of actual um, personalities uh, and real life people of the time. Henry Ford, J.P. Morgan. Like Pharaoh's reincarnate stood J.P. Morgan. And Henry Ford. All men are born equal. But the cream rises to the top. Lansbury had three weeks of rehearsals to develop those characters. Megan Vandehey plays Mother, whose character weaves throughout the plotline. Ragtime is basically about three American groups. Uh, Cole House Walker Jr., a Harlem musician. Mother, who's the matriarch of uh, a, new, a family in New Rochelle. And then Tata, a Jewish immigrant who's just come to America with his daughter. And it basically follows as their lives intersect and they continue to try to make successes of themselves in America. It's a small, intimate story set against the giant backdrop of America, says Jamal Lee Harris, who plays the main character, Cole House, a ragtime piano player. He already has the success in a way. He already has um, established a name for him, at least in Harlem, which is pretty, a pretty significant place to establish yourself. Even though this is the turn of the century, Cole House is living in New York City, um, where it's not like living in the South. It's not like living under Jim Crow. I mean, um, and he does believe in this American dream. There are some difficult moments in the show, and ones as, as an actor that I have to kind of separate my own feelings from in order to say, well, this, this actually happened. Um, but it's wonderful to be challenged in the theater. I think that's what it's for. I hear his heartbeat. For Cole House, the real American dream is family, Sarah and their child. And when it's taken away from him, he responds in a, with a lot of fury and anger. Meanwhile, mother struggles with her own role in life, beginning first as a homemaker, whose only duties are to take care of the home and her child. And other than that, father takes care of everything else. And as he leaves, um, he's left her lists of everything to do and everything to follow. Until she finds a child in her garden, an occurrence that's not on her assigned list, says Van de Hey. Oh, holy mother, get water, clean linens, and call a doctor. Oh, is it alive? Oh, God, please, let it be. And so she's struck with um, this whole new outlook and this whole new future as she figures out and navigates through what to do with this child and how to proceed with this situation without father's instruction. The 
never stopped to think they might have lives beyond our lives. Here in America, anyone at all can succeed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actor Wayne Kennedy carries the voice of the third group in Ragtime. He's kind of the voice of the immigrants, the, the immigration that was happening and everything that, uh, you know, you see, see all the pictures and hear all the stories of the, of the, the huge immigration at that time. And uh, so he's from Latvia. Ragtime's epic storyline touches on the issues of the turn of the century. Hey, mister, here in America, anything you want. I would love people to walk away from this saying, feeling that they had learned something, as well as being entertained, they had learned something about America. It was the music of something beginning, an era exploding, a century spinning in riches and rags and in rhythm and rhyme. The people call it ragtime. Ragtime the musical runs September 13th through October 2nd at the Arvada Center. For tickets, call the box office at 720-898-7200 or go online at arvadacenter.org.